Hey guys, I am sorry because I haven't uploaded any videos in two days and well, I was just taking a break because I had to study for a test and now that I am done with the test, I can finally begin to make all those videos. Also today I am not going to school because my mom is sick so we are not going to school and basically today I will be showing you some new information about the Scott games. So basically I came here and there is in the bar it's at sixty percent. That means that a ton of characters were added. Let's check them. If you want to check the characters you just have to go to very fast versus area simulator on my Steam, you go down and you go to read more on programming characters. <coughs> Mm. Now let's go down, down, down. Now let's just start with. Um, we already read this. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Phantom Balloon Boy. He will appear on your viewing monitor at random. Quickly change cameras or close the monitor to avoid his jump scares. Getting jump scared by Phantom Balloon Boy will cause you to black out temporarily. Temporarily. Mm. <clears throat> Fun guy, he will call a random into your office and you will only have a brief amount of time to mod his call. If you fail to mod the call, then you will be forced to listen to the whole thing, which will aggravate you as well as any animatronic that is sensitive to the noise level. Also, the mod button will appear in unpredictable locations. So, first let's break down Phantom Lumboy. So basically, Phantom Lone Boy, he will appear on your monitor, on your big monitor at random, that means that at any time, for example, you could be busy with any VR animatronic and he will just appear randomly, and you have to quickly change the cameras or close the monitor to avoid his jump scares. <clears throat> so basically, that's pretty easy, that's the same mechanic as Finance of Race 3. If you saw him, you have to close the monitor or you have to just skip the camera and don't watch that camera. That's pretty easy to do. That's not something pretty hard to do. So basically, getting jump scared by a phantom loom boy will cause you to black out temporarily. That means that there will be a black, a black screen for a moment or two. And then basically... He doesn't kill you like all the Phantom animatronics, he doesn't kill you like Phantom Freddy and Phantom Mango, they don't kill you anyways. And now let's break down phone guy, so it says that he will call a random into your office, that means that just like Phantom Maloon Boy, he will call random at, at your office. <clears throat> and he will, and you will have a brief moment, amount of time to mute his call. So that means that you're not going to have a lot of time to mute the call. You will just have a brief moment. If you don't mute the call, then he, the, then he will start talking about the whole thing. I wonder if he's going to talk us how. I mean, if he's going to talk us about a new thing or a, or an old thing, like how he did in Final Fantasy 1 or Final Fantasy 2. Well, anyways, that's not that interesting. <clears throat> um... And um, so basically, he will put the noise level. So basically, the noise level will go up because he will just. Ah, wait a second. Let me do something here. No. So basically, the noise level will go up if he goes. So he's going to talk pretty loud. That's what he's going to do. He will talk pretty loud and he will just disturb everything there. And the main bad thing about the noise matter is that you have a creepy giant clown from time humanoid animatronic behind you with, with two plates, which is music made. And if there is too many noise, then he's just going to kill you. That's the bad thing about it. Ah, shit. Mm. Also, that was it, guys. Also, Foxy and Nightmare Freddy, they were here. They were showing them here, but looks like 
they were just for April Fools. That's why they're not here anymore. Anyways, let's say bye, guys.